Hey, it's great to see you folks, although I really can't see you. I can see Nuno, but none of you, and sorry you have to see me, but uh, glad for this little short time together. You know, I always end my email, if you've gotten some emails from me as a life group teacher, I always say, see you Sunday, Bible in hand. Well, I can't really say that right now because it may be a few Sundays before I see you, but we will see each other again and that Sunday will come. But today I not only have my Bible in my hand, but I have something else that you may have in your hand. I got my sanitizer here, which I carry with me now all the time. It's kind of interesting, the Bible and my sanitizer has a lot in common. This kills germs and that's what we're after right now, right? I hope you're washing your hands and doing all the things that uh, you've been requested to do. But uh, this kills germs. I'm thankful for that. This Bible tells us how our sins uh, can be clean. This, this Bible kills sin. Uh, let me read a verse to you. I love this verse. Isaiah 118. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they will be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they will be like wool. I love 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins... God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, these two have a lot in common. There's a difference, though. I looked at this real closely. You know what this says? 99.9% of germs are killed by this. So there's one-tenth of a percent it doesn't kill. Uh, That's nice to know, isn't it? But when the Bible says that God cleanses us from our sin, it's 100%. All my sin, 100% cleansed. 1 John 7 says, And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. I'm thankful for this, but i got to tell you, folks, I'm more thankful for what this book declares, and that's the gospel. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you, Lord, we can have our sins 100% forgiven when we confess our sin and trust in you to forgive us. Father, bless everyone in our church. Keep everyone safe. And Father, help us to keep our hope in you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.